The Cystic Fibrosis Community is invited to participate in a series of videos and podcasts on individuals who are living, breathing, and succeeding with cystic fibrosis. This video, CF and Home Spirometry, was made possible through an unrestricted educational grant from Genentech to the Boomer Esiason Foundation. Today you will meet Jerry Cahill, a 57-year-old with cystic fibrosis. Jerry is an exercise enthusiast, volunteer at the Boomer Esiason Foundation, and is two years post double lung transplant. Jerry also coaches pole vaulters and believes every day is a gift. Well, the true meaning of spirometry is the measuring of your breath. Uh, it's the most calming form of pulmonary function testing, and it measures how fast you inhale and exhale. I think it's important to use a spirometer because it gives you a better handle on what's going on with your body and obviously your lungs. Uh, and it's a way of staying ahead of the curve and avoid getting sick or catching your sickness or your infection early. A spirometer measures the following. Your FVCs, which is your forced vital capacity. Your FEV1s, which is your forced expiratory volume. Your PEFs, which is your peak expiratory flow. The relationship also of your FEV1s to your FVCs and your FEFs 25 to 75 percent which is that middle area that middle ground of your forced expiratory flow. Testing for lung function is a great way to make better decisions about your daily activity. It also gives you evidence about your lungs if your lung function is declining and it's just all around a better way of knowing your body. There's many types of spirometers out there. I've tried a few of them, but I'm personally very keen on the Spiro PD because it encourages personal spirometry that empowers patients to monitor their lung function on a daily basis. You can upload all of the data from your device to your computer and then you're able to email it to your medical team. So what's great about that is it really improves your communication with your medical team so they know what's going on with your health and you have a better handle on your health. The great thing about the Spiro PD also is that it is compatible with Windows and Mac computers. The Spiro PD encourages treatment and medication adherence because it has alarms that are set right into the device and the Spiro PD will remind you when it's time to do your spirometry test when to take your medications or do breathing exercises. The Spiro PD stores all your personal information and holds up to five years of pulmonary function tests. The great thing about this is you can look at your data weekly, monthly, or on a yearly basis. You will know if the Spiro PD testing is done correctly because there is an audible voice. I call her Betsy the Breathing Buddy and she will coach you along through the testing to tell you if it's correct or incorrect and if it's wrong she will make you redo the test. In my experience the Spiro PD does provide accurate results and is FDA cleared and it meets the American Thoracic Society's standards for spirometry. It's really important with the Spiro PD to track your trends. By tracking your trends it's easy to spot declines in your lung function and this way hopefully avoid visits to the emergency room and hospital stays. The Spiro PD is small and lightweight. It only weighs nine ounces and is designed for portability with a rechargeable battery that lasts several days on one charge. The Spiro PD encourages patients to take an active role in their lung health. By taking an active role, you can avoid emergency situations. I am a true advocate of the Spiro PD whether you are pre or post transplant with cystic fibrosis. I firmly believe that you should be in full control of your health to the best of your ability and I think that by using the Spiro PD it takes you to that next level in maintaining your lung health.